All right, here's a video walkthrough of 4567 Date Avenue. Front yard here. There's a little pergola area over here. Um, you could probably set up a grill or some tables. Um, you can't really see them, but it has uh, cafe lights that come with the house that are plugged in there. There's access to the backyard there as well. So inside the house, working fireplace, LED ceiling fans, uh, original um, I guess pine or oak floor. It's a good sized living area. Got all these cool uh, original built ins in the corner there. Got like a coat closet here. A lot of storage in this house, a lot of nooks and, and crannies. So, the kitchen here. Uh, this area is kind of intended for a little high top table. Um, they have a reptile there currently. A built-in Hoosier cabinet here. 32 inch gas range. Uh, the tile black splash goes from the floor to the ceiling. So kitchen here. Actually the laundry room. These uh, washer and dryer are brand new. Uh, the old ones quit, so the owner put new washer and dryer in. A little more storage over here, storage everywhere. So this door here goes to the, the bedroom, which I'll show you. Got a little butler's pantry here, storage, storage. Got storage, shelving, kind of everywhere. Here's the bedroom. That's the door that kind of leads to the kitchen that they had the uh, buffet table or whatever in front of to block it off. Got the closet here. Let me get the light on. So it's kind of an L. And you have double, double hangers there. Hallway storage. Bathroom here, some toilet behind the door there. Shower, bath. It's actually got a Bluetooth uh, speaker light, so you can play music through that as well. It's got these cool kind of stained glass um, original uh, windows there. Storage. Let's see, this is the master. There's no true master with an ensuite, but. All the, all the rooms have uh, brand new LED ceiling fans. Got a big closet here. Um, a lot of storage. And space through here. This glass is frosted. It's privacy glass. You can't see through it. Bathroom number two. Shelving. The shower enclosure. This is bedroom number three. It's kind of funky. Uh, it's like an L-shaped bedroom. Um, it has access to the outside. That's the laundry room there. And the outside here, deck. Storage shed. You got this kind of shade structure with the uh, cafe lights, which are part of the property. No flying helicopter, which is not a common. Uh, tankless water heater, uh, dual zone mini split. So um, the main house has heat and air conditioning and I'll show you the attic. It has its own heat and air conditioning system as well. So you're not gonna be cool in the attic if, if no one's up in there or heating it. Kind of side yard area here. Leads out to that pergola in front that I had shown you. So this is fully wired. Um, if you wanted to do some crafts in here, electric. You can see all the outlets all around. Um, there's an electric car charger here as well. And uh, the fridge stays with the property. Persimmon tree. 
And then all these spaces here are yours. So it would be four spaces. We got four pickup trucks in here when we are doing construction on the on the property. Trash cans there. And then let me take you into the kind of bonus space up in the attic. bedroom unfortunately it's only accessible through this ladder but it's a cool little space so there's tons of storage here so you have storage there to light on storage in there So that door has storage all throughout this back wall. There's that mini split I was talking about, which has uh, does the separate heating and cooling. Storage all the way here to that back wall. Custom built cabinet here. I guess closet, it's not a cabinet. Cool like piano hinge door. We got a full bathroom up here, so hey, look, more storage. Bathroom. More storage. So it'd be hard to probably get furniture up here that isn't uh, that's pre-assembled. So anything in a box, you definitely get up here, futon bed frame stuff like that it would just need to be disassembled um, to kind of get up because obviously there is not a lot of space and that's the tour